Ah, and yes, friends and all you radio freaks and interested, I have something new here, very hot off the press. The Thionic One, our latest development on 2.4 gigahertz, a very small 8 by 12 millimeter uh, edge board here. On it, the uh, Nordic chip with a very small PCB integrated antenna or alternatively an external SMI connector for an external robot antenna. Now we've built this up on our development board here, connected via FTDI. And what I'd like to do is actually take this into operation and quickly show you one or two things around about the possibilities of this cute little model here, this module. Let's start off. I've started my smart commander on the laptop here and I've connected a tiny one with our development board and you might ask, what is this? Yes, the GPIOs I've connected to a number of LEDs six of them to be precise on a little bit development board. These wires connect the GPIOs from our board on here. Now let's actually just simply take this into operation. You'll see some of the LEDs are on already. And we'll go into the smart commander here, start the smart commander. And the first thing would be, now be careful on the left hand top, the serial settings. And here we actually go down and select the Thione one. And the device is connected. Beautiful. On the right hand side, you'll see the command window with the commands going in and out. On the middle, we have a number of commands available which you can play around with to do all sorts of interesting things. Now let's start off with the first one here, the command get state request. You'll see that on the right hand side, we have the actual outgoing command. We have the return the beautiful in colors. And we go and enter the command get request. You'll see the command goes out and we get the reply back. There's a serial number in there. And let's go and actually connect the LEDs. For that, I'll go down to the bottom here and I have the GPIO field here. I'm going to select all six of them, in other words, the six GPIOs from the module, which I'm going to play with. And what I can do now is I'm going to actually pull every second one to high. So, okay, uh, what I need to do is I'm actually going to configure these as outputs. Right, there we are. We've set the first, the third, and the fifth LED. Now, the next step would actually be to do something with the communication via two modules, which I have here. The second one, I'm going to connect in the same fashion to a second PC or laptop and let's see whether I can actually do something on my LEDs on that side. Voila! Right! I'm going to hold these two right close to each other um, and send across. I'll reset it from my first computer here and you'll see the LEDs are switched. And I go back to the other one and I set that once more. Have the LEDs switched? They should have. I can play around like this. In other words, from a remote terminal via RF, I set every alternative one, and from here I set them back again. So a nice little method to play around with with your GPIOs and the new Thione One module on 2.4 gigahertz. Here's one last little gimmick I'd like to show you. This is more for testing and evaluation purposes. And if you go down to the bottom middle here, we have the option of repeating a send, in other words, sending some random data. And what we'll do here is simply enter the packet length, and I'm going to enter, say, a 30 there, a packet count of 999, and an interval, 200 milliseconds. And here you can see this guy is busy transmitting. This is a lot of data, it's going to take a while, but ideal for testing and experimenting. This machine should be running for the next few minutes trying to solve this problem for you. People have fun playing with our module, the new Thai one. Stay tuned.